guys, it is Rare Chat here and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while. I feel like I say that every time I make a new video now. Life's crazy. You don't need to hear the same thing over and over again. But uh, in exciting news, Briar released the mid-year regular runs that they're going to be releasing along with the Halloween horse and I think like the spring decorator that they release. Um, so I've just been seeing them all over Instagram and I really wanted to do my usual little review kind of of them or first impressions of them. I do a lot of those on my channel. Um, it's just exciting to kind of give you guys a first look of the new horses that are going to be coming out soon and just give you my kind of first take of them. There is a lot of instances where I like a horse a lot more in person or vice versa. I really like their photos but don't love them as much online. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of showing you what I found. Uh, this was all found from Triple Mountain Model Horses. Um, and they were doing pre-orders already on these horses. So I guess if you really, really like any of them, um, go get them. I know a few were already sold out. Um, this guy, I believe, was one of them. So I wouldn't wait on the pre-order for that. But they are also regular on models, so I really doubt that they will sell out once they're actually released. And you'll be able to find them at, like, your local Briar horse dealer. <laughs> and before anybody asks, um, I know I posted about a week ago the part two to the Briar Horse Confessions Deep Darkest Secret thing. I've gotten quite a lot of responses that I like from what I could tell. I'd never read the full thing, just have not had time to film that video and kind of go through. It's gonna take a while to edit just because um, I cut some stuff out and just reading through them and you know, it's it's a thing. But I like doing these little lazy, so I don't really have to edit the photos in because I could just show my laptop. Um, first impression videos and I feel like you guys enjoy them too and it'll give you a chance to get a first look at them. So let's get started. Pretty much just did the traditionals for this one. I included a few stable meets at the end and then there are also some classics. There's like this uh, red velvet little classic I think is so cute. Um, but yeah, I just decided to kind of keep it down to a minimum or else this video would be like an hour long. So let's get started. All right, so first up we have Thriller. Um, so Thriller is going to be the Halloween horse for 2021. Um, he's on the Brishin mold and he kind of just has this little skull action going on. Um, I don't know if he's glowing dark. I kind of get the vibe that he is just from the green, but I'm not making those claims at all. I kind of feel like the little whites on his legs and like even like in the bone showing area it kind of looks like that's like a glow-in-the-dark type plastic but uh i do not know that for sure so don't take this from me also i might be missing some horses um i, I found what i could and i think that this is right these horses might have already been released a while ago and i just never saw them um so just putting that little disclaimer out there so i guess should i do a little rating system or buy or pass type thing um i guess for this guy it's gonna be a no for me uh, I don't really collect that many decorators. I'm pretty picky about them, um, especially just for showing wise. I'm trying to kind of keep my collection to not grow much bigger than I already have it. Um, but yeah, I'm not a huge Halloween person, so I'm not obsessed with like the Halloween horses, but I know a lot of people make sure they get one every single year. And I think this guy's pretty cute. But next, this guy's name is WC Mayor of Charm if I wrote that down correctly. This might not be the correct name, but we're just gonna call him Charm for short. Um, I really like this guy. I think that he's my favorite of all of them released. He is on a Briar's pretty new Hamilton mold, um, and he is a nice flaxen chestnut. I think he's super cute. I really, really love the mold. I actually really wanna get the original Hamilton now. I do have the 50th anniversary um, Palomino and the Lafayette um, Collectors Club horse who's stunning. Uh, you guys can go check out my unboxing of him. Um, so honestly, out of all of these, I think that this guy is currently my favorite. He's just really, really pretty and I just love the mold. Um, I heard kind of mixed things about him. I heard mixed things about a lot of these horses. Um, there's really not any horse that I absolutely hate, but I am trying to, again, limit my collection to what I really, really love. Um, but I do really, really like this guy. So he is a possibility of a horse that might end up in my collection. I also have a feeling that he would look really, really good in person just from the 
like slight shading that is captured in the horse. I feel like there's gonna be quite a variation in like dark and lightness in the horse and I love variations and just shading. So I'm very excited. I, I really need to see this guy in person. All right, so next we have an Arabian. Uh, let me try to say this name, KB Omega Fahin. My pen was running out as I was writing it, but then it has like all the pluses and the slashes and there's four pluses and two slashes. Um, it's an Arabian thing. I don't really understand it. I don't know much about the Arabian world. I think this mold is called the Shanghai Arabian mold. Again, might not be saying that correctly. Um, I am a big fan of this mold. I actually have, you could peek right down there. I have the unicorn and Kaylee. Love Kaylee. Honestly, I just love taking her to show. She sews really well for me. But this girl is a pretty, or I think it's a girl. I think all the horses on that mold is a girl. Um, is a pretty simple black horse um, with just a few little socks and a blaze. Um, I think for people who really love Arabians and really love this mold are really gonna like this horse. Uh, I don't mind simple horses, uh, just not super obsessed with the mold so this is a no for me but i really do like her and i think that there are going to be some kind of variations in the depth of the black in her coat okay another one i really love i actually forgot about this one he or she might be in tie for um charm but this is tis the law um and he is I don't know if he's like a famous racehorse of some sort. I think that is a portrait horse. Yeah, it definitely is a portrait horse. Um, but yes, this is him. Um, simpler bay, but I think that, I, I know that there are a lot of bays on the Lonesome Glory mold. Obviously it's a very popular thoroughbred mold that has been around for quite a long time. But this guy kind of stands out to me. Um, I don't really, I there's like no other horse on that mold that I would really, automatically compare it to even like just regular run wise like the last one I could think of that they released is Zenyatta and she's a pretty dark dark bay. I have one up there actually and she shows really well for me by the way. I really love seeing the variation in the coat color of all these horses so I actually really like him or her him it's a him um so I wish I made this picture bigger I really should just be a little bit more professional and edit these in but that's a little too much work for me when I have basically no time to even film this video. From what I can see so far, I do really like this horse. I really love that mold. It might be one that I need to pick up. All right, so then I found this horse. It was labeled as the spring decorator, so I'm assuming that he's not out yet unless I completely missed something, which is totally bound to happen. Um, but this is Old Glory, uh, obviously a very patriotic pony, which I kind of think is good timing for the Olympics uh, because I just, I love the Olympics, always Team USA. Um, so I think that's kind of cool in that sense. I believe that he is, he's definitely like that clear wear plastic where you can kind of see through the horse and the sun can shine through it, which is really cool. This isn't my absolute favorite mold, but I do not mind when they are decorators. One of my favorite decorators that I own, who's up there, or I would go grab him, um, is Prince of Chiz, and he's like that light blue with the little roses. I really, really like that horse. I think he's a pretty cool horse. Uh, again, another one I would really love to see in person. Probably not gonna pick him up just because pretty picky with my decorators. I really only wanna get ones that I would show at this point or I really, really love. Um, if I believe that there's another one, yes, there is definitely another one, and I think his name is Patriot on the, oh my God, American Standard Red Mold, set, set, blah, blah. the American Saddle Red Mold, or Standard Red, no, Saddle Red Mold, um, you guys definitely know what I'm talking about, um, who is that? I prefer that one over this one, mostly just because I like that mold a lot more, so if I am gonna get a Patriotic Pony anytime soon, it will probably be that horse, but I still like that he's really cute. All right, so just for a little bit of fun, I added some stable mates um, just to take a look at. Uh, so they released, I think, about like six or so new stable mates, like for that little single packs. Um, so these were just four of my favorite that I really liked. Um, this guy is probably my favorite, the one on standing warm blood molds. I just think that that's probably my favorite stable mate mold that's like of the earlier generations, not like G1, but I believe that he's a G2 or G3. Um, so I just really like that mold in general. I think it's really cute. Um, then we have one on one of the newer molds. Um, he's a blue roan. He's a meh to me. I'm not like a huge roan person, but the mold is very cute. 
Oh, and then there's the new Andalusian mold. I do really like that new mold, so I might have to pick him up if I find him in a store somewhere. And then we have the rose gray Alboroso in the corner over there. Again, a super popular mold. And from what I could tell, I really do like the color, but I think I would like to see him in person just to see how kind of um, prominent like the yellow is in his mane and tail. Um, but yeah, still a cute horse that I wouldn't mind. I feel like you can never have too many stable mates. They kind of, those I can collect a lot of and they won't take up too, too much space. So it's okay. But okay guys, that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed my little first impressions. Uh, I have a lot of exciting things um, in the works for Briarfest. I guess just a little quick mention for those who stay to the end. I'm planning on doing some live Kahoot games with some prizes on my Instagram. Um, so you guys will be hearing a lot more about that later. I'm super excited to get into the Briarfest content. Briarfest season is like almost here. I pretty much consider like all of July Briarfest content season. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And also just filming more in general. I will get that uh, confessions video up very soon. But yeah, I hope that you guys have a lovely day. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment who your favorite horse of this new uh, release is and uh, subscribe if you already haven't and turn on that post notification bell so you know whenever I upload. All right guys, I'll see you guys later and most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye.